What's going on, Internet? Zyjix here, coming at you with another Mega Man Battle Network 6 video. And we're here. We're at the final battle. Man, this is it. The final battle. Once you go through the door, you can't save. Are you ready? Well, first of all, yes, I can save. So up yours, Mega Man. Let's do this. It is really pounding outside. It's uh, really raining out there. Holy crap, those are some huge ass copy bots. Lan Hikari. Yes, that's me. I had no worries that you would make it. Everything has gone according to my plan. All I want now is the Maverick. Maverick? Beryl. The only thing I didn't foresee with you was, my, was your betrayal. I have not forgot what you have done for me, Wiley. That is why I have worked for you as a World 3 member. What did what Dr. Wiley did? Dr. Wiley is the one who raised me. And he is the one who created my Navi Colonel. What? And now you betrayed the very man who gave you everything? No way, Dr. Wiley raised you? He is a really crappy parent. First Regal, now Barrel? You should listen to him, Lan. Many years ago, after I was kicked out of the science community, I started to plan my revenge against the Net Society. But there was a man who wanted me for his own plans. That man was Netopian commander. Barrel Sather. That man who had scouted me out for research. Military robots while living in, in Netopia. I put my own plans on hold for this man who needed an ex-scientist like me. Then a few later, a war broke out in a country somewhere far, far away. Some undisclosed country that we haven't come up with a name with yet. And then that man went on the battlefield to fight. While he was out there, I watched over his son, Beryl. A few years passed. I received a letter. It was then. That man was no longer alive. He was 360 no-scoped. Never even saw it coming. <laughs> my sadness and anger at losing after losing a friend reignited my hidden desire for revenge against society. Because, man, I should have gone for anger management, but health, screw the health, screw that. This is, this is way more satisfying. <laughs> I threw my kindness away that day and became a mad scientist out of revenge. But there was something, <laughs> there was something I had to do first. I had, <laughs> I had everything I could to repay the debt to Beryl's father by using, wait, so does Beryl not have a mom? You know? And then, you know, back up here. Go back. I did everything I could to repay the debt to Beryl's father by using the soldier data that he had given me to raise his son to be a better soldier than even he was because that was what the man had needed and wanted. Uh, <clears throat> I six and I succeeded. You are better than your father. Wake up, Beryl, and realize. Put on a little bit of makeup. Put a little. Put the keys on on the table. I've been listening to a lot of. Uh, what was that band again? I already forget what it was. Um, who cares? <laughs> Probably come back to that later. Don't listen to the world. Uh, don't let the world and net society. Uh, I lost my voice there for a bit. Don't let Net Society scare or confuse you. Come with me and stand. You're the one who needs to wake up. I remember when you you first gave Colonel to me. Your eyes shone bright with kindness. I told you I threw that kindness long ago in the recycling bin. I had no use for kindness in my grand plans. Looks like the it, it, it uh, um looks like it has finished charging. The time for talk is over. The time to put my plans into action. Iris. My people. <laughs> I puns. Begin the preparations. Iris, I'm here to rescue you. Iris, Iris. She, she, she's gonna die, and then I'm gonna be yelling to myself, "What am I fighting for?" <laughs> it's, it's no use. <laughs> Right now, she's in operating mode. She can't hear anyone now. What? 20, oh wait, Dr. Wiley created Colonel about 20 years ago. The newly completed Colonel was at, was at the time, no, now even more, he had even more incredible abilities. He had incredible power, speed, and very clear thinking. The ability to control electronic devices and kindness. He 
he was the perfect navvy. Was? On the day that he f that we found out my dad father passed away, Dr. Wiley took Colonel away from me. A few hours later, Colonel I got was back wasn't the same Colonel I knew. Colonel's kindless program had been removed, and he had been changed into the perfect combat navvy. And there was one more program that was removed. Colonel's ability to control any electronic device. What does that have to do with Iris? You still don't understand. I made another navvy using the programs I took from Colonel. A navvy whose purpose was to operate military weaponry. That navvy is Iris. What? Iris is a net navvy? Yes. <clears throat> Iris is Colonel's younger sister. That's that's impossible. Great. Land's not gonna hook up with Iris now because she's a freaking navvy. I mean, how do how do humans and navvies hook up? I mean, I mean, have have they even addressed that concern at all? I mean, Iris is in the real world. A oh, copy bot. It looks you finally, you finally understand. Then you also know what the copy bots are behind me are for. No way. No, stop, Iris. Come, Cybees Falzar. Let us destroy everyone in the world and let it rain blood. Iris, control the side beast and be my arms and legs. Go cover the world in fear and confusion and blood. And just go rip somebody's head off for just for funsies. Sure, why not? <laughs> Wait, Iris! Who knew that she was a copy bot this whole time? Oh, that's right, me, because I've played this before. That's the copy bot from the school lobby! Huh, how ironic. Iris is inside the copy beast. Or the side beast. Mega Man, Iris is. I'll take care of the side beast. If Iris and Colonel become one again, and Colonel becomes his old self, he may be able to beat the side beast. <laughs> Too bad, but you should give up on that foolish idea. When I split Colonel in two, I installed a little program that would delete them automatically should they try to become one again. Ah, what a heartwarming instant it would be. Yeah. They may not become one, but at least it'll stop Iris. Jack in! Colonel, execute! Wait, so he can jack in from a... Wow, okay. First off, he can jack in from a distance. Secondly, he's... Well, he's bleeding. Go get her, Colonel. Dr. Wiley, you insolent fool! You may have sent Colonel in, but you're too late. Iris! Rawr. More screech. Wah! Ah! Eh! What's wrong, Mega Man? The Cybees are reacting to each other. They're pulling at each other. Let it go. That's my favorite song, by the way. Frozen was awesome. <laughs> Mega Man, and right into the copy box. Cybees, Gregor! Wah! 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 I want to know how... Seriously, how does... How does... You had two giant copy bots that looked like they were kind of... You know, they're humanoid, and now these things don't even look remotely close to humanoid. The Cybees escaped from Mega Man! Everything is going as just as I planned. Let the Cybees roars echo through the all of Cyber City. The Cybees roar echoed throughout the net, and it caused a large amount of damage to Cyber City. The central in, in Central Town. Perfect timing. I don't know if you guys heard that, but there were some yeah, thunder literally just came out just as I finished saying that. <laughs> Seaside Town. No, Cyber City Water is Green Town. <laughs> the Judge Tree! The Judge Tree! Sky Town. Oh, poor, poor Mr. Weather. <laughs> Got blowed up again. <laughs> Lan, our long fight ends here. Iris, show him the power of the side beast and blow Lan. No, no, not like that, Lan. That's <sighs> blow Lan away and the traitor out of the way. Just get him out of here. 
What are you waiting for? Do it now! I'm sorry I kept you in the dark land. Iris! What, did she regained her own will? No! Iris obeyed me the time when we were in Natopia, controlling military weapons. It's not possible for her to be this that strong-willed. Lan, hurry. I can't keep back the Psy Beast much longer. Lan, Hikari, we'll take care of this Psy Beast. Brother. Iris, why did you come back? I didn't want my brother to keep hurting people. I was going to do that. But it didn't. But it looks like you don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> you didn't want to hurt, you had to hurt people. That's funny coming from a weapons control navy. I saw the people from inside the weapons. I saw their wounds and how they hurt. And I want more of it. More. But not right now. I thought that was something that couldn't be helped. But when I escaped from your lab, I found the town that I didn't want w didn't want war to be. I don't even know what I'm going on about. Could you, like, stop shaking the room? Seriously? I found a town that didn't want war for the first time. In that town, school was so peaceful. I had fun with all the school, uh, school children my age. I became interested in school and hid in the school's net. I took classes with the other kids, and everybody was truly happy. And I realized, this is what humans are really like. People hurting each other is wrong. Except when I do it. When I punch through their face and their brains splatter all over the ground. I decided that I had to stop my brother when I thought about what, what would happen if Dr. Wiley caught me. I became scared, and that was when I came to our school. You never ran away. You just always fought bravely. You risked your own life to save those around you. When I saw that, I had told myself that I had to be brave too. Colonel, I will fight. Let's defeat the Cybees together. Iris, you've grown strong. <laughs> Iris, you sound like an idiot. But would you really betray me too? This is all you're doing, Lan Hikari. Lan, jack me to Gregor. I'll beat Gregor. The four of us as two pairs of siblings. I'm sure Colonel will, I, and Iris will beat Falzar. So let's combine our powers and beat Gregor. Jack me and Lan. You're wasting your energy. You're no match for the fully revived side east. Pop. Okay. Let's go. This is the last Jack in. Jack in Mega Man. Execute. Here we go, guys. This is it. This is it, Mega Man. Last fight. By the way, Cybees escaped. What about the Cybees powers? Cybees power is still in my memory. No, it's more like it's been carved in. Oh, after this battle, the last dad to erase it. So hang on just for a little longer. Why would you want to do that? Seriously, no. Keep that power. That, it's freaking dope. I would imagine that would be, um, Colonel and Iris' platform. Looks like we're connected to Falzar somehow. Iris and Colonel must be over on that side. You think? Ah! Looks like they've already started. We should get going, too. Yeah! Here we go. The final, final battle. Let's save here. Cybees, Gregor! Oh, hello, Mega Man. I'm sorry, but I have to kill you. <laughs> if we don't beat him, there won't be a tomorrow. Yes, there will. You just won't be around to see it. You made it, Mega Man. I never thought we would fight side by side again. Our opponents are side beast. Be extra careful. Colonel, Mega Man, get ready. Roar! I'm gonna eat you up! You stupid fools! The side beasts are more powerful than you could ever imagine. Doesn't matter. We will stop you, Dr. Wily. Uh, uh, uh. You get something to eat. Let's go, Mega Man. Battle routine set. Execute. Roar! Alright, so. Take this. Let's see if this will work. But I think actually the strategy uh, you can use is that you slash cross. Dang it. Holy crap, he is fast. That totally whiffed. Dang it. Try again. There we go. Solid hit. 
Ow! Yeah, that's why you want to. That's why you want to use uh, Slash Man. So he's actually pretty. He's so probably gonna be pretty useful. Um, the only other thing I'm a little curious about is can I still beast out? Ow! Shot his tail at me. Wow. I whiffed. Dang. Yes, I still can beast out. There we go. Whoa! Ah, dang it. Okay, got him there. Um... We could surprisingly do probably much better. I got him. Oh. I'm wondering if I can get if I can. Oh, there we go. Yep. I can see how Slash Man would actually be pretty good. Oh crap! Not good. Oh crap! Not weird. That is really not good. Back up. Dang it. Okay, I gotta get out of the way of that. This is gonna be real tough. No, get out of the way of that. go. There we go. Ouch. Get up here. Might be able to get him. But then again, I'm sure he's got his own panic mode. Here we go. <sighs> Dude, how cool would it be if I'm able to actually finish him off with Life Sword? Like my signature chip combo. Dang it, no. There we go. We're getting awfully close here. Okay, we can do a little healing here. I, you know what? I might not need a beast out. I think that's his panic mode there. Oh, whoa, holy crap. I, I want to so bad. I want to get. Come on, please, please let it show up. I want it to. Sh I want it so bad. We could def I mean, I know we could beat him here, but I gotta. I gotta be dramatic about this. Oh my God! There it is, <sighs> guys. This is how it ends. Life Sword against Cybeast Greg Arm.
dead. That's it, guys. We're done. Series done. We did it. It's over, guys. It's finally over. Not that I'm happy that it's over, but... Oh, my God. Mega Man! Oh, I guess Gregor's not going down without a fight. The side beast has gone back into Mega Man. As long as it's still alive, my plan can still succeed. <laughs> The sweet irony of Net Society being destroyed by the grandson of the man who built it to begin with! <laughs> Go, Psybeast! I mean, Mega Man! Destroy everything you like! Mega Man! Get a hold of yourself! Hub! You're wasting your breath. Mega Man is too weak from that last battle! He can fight off the Psy- He can't fight off the Psybeast now. Grr. Mega Man, don't! Iris and Colonel are hurt from the last battle. Iris, Colonel, run! Then we will take care of Mega Man. What are you talking about? I can't operate him right now, and you two are hurt. Yes, we are wounded. However, there is a way to save Mega Man. What? What way? No! If my brother and I become one again, we might be able to pull off the side beast uh, out of. Out, or might be able to pull the side beast out of Mega Man. That means I can't go on any murdering sprees anymore. But hey, Yolo. Don't be stupid. If you unite, my program will blow us all up. Why not? Why do something so meaningless? You're wrong. It's not meaningless. We want land to have a beautiful future. Back to Riley. Nothing good can come from violence and hatred. Colonel. For a navvy like me who's only in thought of, thought of fighting. Deleting. For me to end up saving the world. I would have, n I would have never thought I could rise to this. Lan, please tell Beryl. I was deleted along with the Psy Beast. But it's not fate. It was of my own will. Wait! Iris! Colonel! What is it, Iris? Do you have something left to say? Lan. I really did like you. It's such a shame that we didn't actually do the deed. Iris, that is just disgusting. You didn't need to say that in front of me. Seriously? No, it's nothing. I'm just a net navvy after all. Let us start, brother. Um, I really don't know what to do with that information. I, I, I seriously, I'm gonna die, and I know that you had a, I mean, and you, you had a thing for land. Iris, Colonel. Now we have Super Saiyan Colonel, and he just, you know, what the funny thing is, is when when Mega Man loses control and he beasts out for whatever reason. He just watches him talk in front of him. He just doesn't murder them in cold blood. Colonel! Iris! Let's go, Iris. Alright. Whoa! So this is the heart of the Psy Beast. Land, Jack Mega Man out. You should be able to go now. Oh, okay. You two should jack out too so or soon too. They won't do it. They plan to blow themselves up and delete the side beast. No! Colonel! Iris! Thank you, Luke. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Lan. Beryl. Dr. Wiley. Farewell. Oh my god, it is going to be the biggest Miguel of them all. Mwahaha! <laughs> it's all over! Lan! You win! Game over! Hurry! You should run away from here! Once the explosion reaches the force program, you, an even bigger explosion will occur! You sure it's not your gas? Shut up! Why would I? What do I have to live for? You would have me live in shame for the rest of my life! Yes, you have to pay for what you've done! You have to live for, the, all, you have to live for all the people in Navis! And Iris and Colonel! For everyone who suffered because of what you did. <laughs> I wonder why you feel... I wonder why I feel sad all of a sudden. I stopped paying attention to people that I had buried. Myself, and I buried myself in work so much that... that so that my ambitions would be fulfilled. When I split Colonel and Iris in two, I thought I had thrown away my kindness. 
You feel sad because your kindness is still inside you. Humans aren't programs. We can't throw away our feelings that easily. If you really had thrown away that, your kindness, you would have deleted Colonel instead of just removing programs. Don't be stupid! You can make up for all you've done, then maybe you can continue your research. Like before. I'll just ask my dad. He? A real scientist again? <laughs> you give me the chance to see my dream one last time. Come on, let's go. Uh-oh. The Force program has begun to explode. Time is running out. Go! What about you? Thud. Hey, um, Beryl's not dead. Beryl! You shouldn't move around too much, Beryl. Colonel, you saved the world, but... Beryl, Colonel wanted me to tell you I was deleted along, along with the Psy Beast. But it's not fate. It's my it's of my own will. I see. Let's go, Beryl. Let's all get out of here. Land Hikari. What? Whoa! So, first... I mean, my god, man, Beryl is just so abusive to land. First he hits him, now he throws him down the stairs. Beryl! Go, Land Hikari. You have a home you have a home and a family that needs you. Then What are y'all doing here still? Everyone! Lan, let's get the heck out of here! Lan Goodbye. Here it comes! It's gonna blow! Whoa! I'm a little dizzy after that. Whoa! Oh my god. The biggest release of bowels ever. A few days after the explosion. The explosion was really powerful and that flattened the entire expo site. And the blast from the explosion made the town a mess and ruined part of the school. Dr. Wiley was found in the wreckage and in, in the... How? You'd think he would just be, like, s obliterated. It was a miracle that he wasn't hurt. What? How? He was at like he was like right in the middle of the center of the blast zone. Beryl was nowhere to be found, but I'm sure he's alive somewhere. I just know it. Yuika, Ito, and Vic were found unconscious by Shad after they after they had snapped their shins, broke their legs jumping off, and uh, yeah. Well, it was really a yeah. I, I, it would make sense. They would have shattered their their legs. Mr. Mock was given a lighter punishment because he explained why he joined World 3 and that he helped to stop World 3 in the end. He's free now. After hearing about Iris and, and Colonel, we're all really sad. Iris, Colonel, are you watching us from somewhere? Oh, and today's graduation day at ACDC school. I have some messages to read. Here's one from Mr. Higsby. To the students of ACDC school, congratulations. I'm in Natopia right now studying. Why would you want to be there? Natopia sucks. Back up. I'm in Natopia now studying so that I can make HPs even bigger and better than before. I'm sorry I can't take your grads in person, but I promise to bring back a ton of rare chips. So I hope you all look forward to the re our return. I look forward to seeing you all grown up. From Higsby and Number Man. Higsby sent this from far away Natopia. There are so many messages that I'll just read the names. Masa from Fish Shop. Mrs. Sal from... Holy crap, we haven't heard of her from, like, forever. Miss Miyu. Oh, wait, no, that's who I was thinking of. Um, Miss Sal. That was, no, that was Woodman's operator. I, yeah, I, I'm actually surprised. I have never actually came across Woodman at all. Or Sal, for that matter. And the announcer, Rabita. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> and the gift shop owner, Tamako. Hey, that's my girlfriend. Shut up, Lan! Creamland's Princess Pride, and all the local scientists. There are so many people cheering for you. I'm also very happy for all of you. You're all such good children. I hope you won't forget me when you go to junior high. Of course we won't. Yeah, you're like totes hot. I mean, um, I can't believe I said that out loud. Whatever, we'll remember you. We love you, Miss Mari. We'll come back and visit. <laughs> You'll always be my students. And... 
apparently the kids from uh, um, Cyber Academy came back, came as well. Yes, madam. Even though we had to come to the ACDC school. Why? Is that the closest school? What the heck? I'm glad we're here. I can't believe Lan had such a pretty teacher. We had a worthless old man for his teacher. <laughs> and then suddenly he disappears on us. Who's a worthless old man? A voice. Congratulations, everyone. Mr. Mock! Yeah, yeah, he's so freaking emotional. Wait, so if this was only a little bit after, like, the whole, uh, the whole incident, so did he just not get that much jail time? Or did, like, or is he maybe on probation or something? You can't end around, uh, he, what? You can't end without me around. Sorry I made everyone worry. Wah. Oh, now she's not crying. I said I wouldn't cry. Oh, great. Now she's a white supremacist. Honk, honk. <laughs> but you've all grown up and graduated. I wish we could stay a little longer, but it's time to go. I want to thank everyone for everything. I hope you will all do well in life. Don't study too much, and please be an open-minded adult. Take care of yourselves. Okay. This ends our last homeroom together. Congratulations again. Yeah! No more school! Well, they still have middle school or junior high, as some might, might call it, and high school. So what you up to now? Hmm. Len, may I have a word with you? I wonder what's up. Yes, Ms. Mari? Before homeroom, a man came and asked me about you and then left you a large box. What that person looked like, Ms. Mari? Well, he had long hair, stubble, and sort of quiet. Thought so. Where's that box, Ms. Mari? The teacher's room. Okay. Can you please tell everyone to meet me at my house? Ah, uh, wait. Land. Land will be land always, as I get. Man, it reminds me back when I was in freaking like I didn't I, I didn't have a, an elementary graduation or anything. Um, dude, my school I mean my school was weird. I, I started on public school, then went to homeschool, then went back to public school, and um, went moved, went on from there. And after what happened in Cyber City, Dad's research was canceled, so that's why we came back to ACDC Town. But it's weird to see you and Tab here in ACDC Town, Mick. I mean, Dick. You did that on purpose! Easy to easy town isn't really a city like a central town, but it's not a bad place to live, I guess. Ah, the air is so clean. Wow, so you you grew up in this unpolluted townland? It's so nice that you can smell the fresh earth. It's great. Can't tell if you're praising me or making fun of ACDC. It may not seem like him like it, but I think it's praise. Land. About time we had a net battle. Alright, final name. Hey, that's right, Lynn. You gotta battle me, too. Yeah, battle! Hey, I called it first, Dex. No way. I've been Lynn's rival for forever. I don't care which one of you can battle first. My head's spinning from you two arguing. You guys never grow up. Hey, it's Chad. Actually, you came to see me. I can't tell that you've... I can't tell that you've moved up to junior high school. Chad! Did you have a graduation ceremony too? Yeah, sort of. Hey, what's wrong? You came you came by to join the festivities, right? <laughs> As a matter of fact, no. I came here to tell you a few things and maybe to clear something up. Like what? Like one, fuck you, you suck. Secondly, I'm better than you. Thirdly, Dr. Wiley woke up. Right now he's being in a very he's being very cooperative as in giving his answers. That and he wanted me to thank you. Well, yeah, about the same thing. I see. Sounds like Dr. Wily has finally let his past go. I think it's Iris in his heart that has come back to him. Yeah, well, I guess so. Ah, but you know, being junior high, being junior high means we can't just net battle all the time. 
And all the stuff we learn is gonna get tougher. I'm worried I won't understand all your homework. But it's not, it's not all bad. We'll make new friends. We'll have lots of fun times too. Oh yeah, where's everybody going for junior high? Dex, Mail, and I are, are going to Den Junior High. I'm going to Den City School for girls. Our schools are kind of far away, but I can still do things. I'm going to Cyber City Junior High. They've got a junior high in, the, in a high school there. I'm going there too. What about you, Chad? Going into Topia University. I've already graduated high school. Probably won't be able to see you guys very often. <laughs> wow. University, wow. It's gonna be sad with, the, yeah, with you gone in another country. I'm gonna become a worldwide official. I'll work in the, in the international department. What do you guys want to be in the future? I want to be a scientist and do net research. I want to make uh, I want to make the net grow bigger and bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't know how much I can help, but I'm gonna work as hard as I can and do as much as I can. <laughs> well, I have faith in you. I'm gonna be the mayor of ACDC Town. I'm gonna make Aston Land a chain store all over the country. I'm gonna make my dad's company even bigger. I'm gonna be an elementary school student, school teacher. I don't have anything I really want to do yet, but I'm going to study many things to find something I like. But I want to be at, at least, at the very least. What? Is there something on your face? Len, you dumbass! What? What did I do? <laughs> it looks like he's being oblivious. That's Land's special trait. Oh yeah, Land. Did you get something, some, or some, something big? Ah. Didn't you get some big thing for graduation? So what was it? I want to know too. Oh, you want to see? Okay, wait right here. And this is gonna be a long one. Only fitting. Okay, you guys ready? Congratulations, everyone! Everyone, this is my older brother, Hub. You got a copy bot? Yeah. This is the copy bot Iris used. There's someone who wants me to have it, I guess. Someone you don't mean. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. What's wrong, Mega Man? I thought I heard Iris's voice just now. Iris is probably watching us over some somewhere. No, she's in hell because she murdered a lot of people. Hey everyone, let's go on the net after this. Even though we'll have different schools and lives, we'll always be friends, right? Of course! Like we wouldn't. Always. I'm gonna be your friend until I trounce you! What the heck does that mean? Hey, yo! Alright. Come on, let's go. Jack in, Mega Man! Execute! Final time. Alright, guys! can't believe it we're done all right guys here we are 86 uh, standard chips 11 mega chips no giga chips only took me 18 hours to finish and i didn't i you know what i didn't even have to cheat to beat gregor i totally beat him by myself so uh that makes me uh what two for six for like non-cheated bosses but there's one more thing here 20 years later yeah we got post credits with his active cooperation, Dr. Wiley created a new kernel in New Iris as a net reinforcement system while serving his time. Kernel is an active attack system that automatically finds and deletes viruses and criminals on the net. Iris is a net recovery system that searches for the damage on the net and repairs it. Starting with these two systems, Net Society was able to grow by leaps and bounds. And now one scientist is working hard to lay the foundations of a new Net Society. Ah, I overslept again! Patch, if you don't hurry up, you're gonna be late. Okay. Morning, Dad, Mom. Hmm, I wonder who these people are. I know. Ah, I gotta wash my face. <laughs> so who do you think he takes after more? When it comes to sleeping in, that would be me. But I wish he wasn't so stubborn like his mother. Who's this stubborn one? Guess you won't, don't want dinner tonight. <laughs> No! I don't mean it! Forgive me, Melu! Lan! Stop dawdling. You're gonna be late to you. 
You don't have... Don't you have a scientist meeting today? Ah, that's right. Why didn't you say something earlier, Mega Man? Chad's coming to, coming from Natopia for, for this meeting today. I'm late. Who knows what he'll say? Sorry, well, you'd better run or you'll miss the metro line. Patch, let's go. Coming. Melu, we're leaving. Have a good day, Mom. Okay, you have a good day, too. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Oh, you too. Okay, I thought that was another typo. <sighs> wow. Hey, Patch, Mega Man, let's race to the station. Okay, let's go, Lan. Hey, no fair. Wait up, Dad. Has it really been 20 years? Dax became the mayor of ACDC Town, and I still can't believe it. Yai became the president of her father's company. Mick became an elementary school teacher, and Tab was working hard to make his store a success. Chad became, and became the international officials leader. Nelu became my wife. As for me, we're working for a better future, and a future that Dad, Grandpa, and Dr. Wiley envisioned. We're even going to make an even brighter future. Sure, there are uncertainties, but we'll be okay. Yeah, we're all cut. Well, we, we've overcome all the things that we came our, our way before. That's right. We can do anything. Come on, Lan. Onward. Up to a great future. Yeah! <laughs> Let's make our future dreams come true. Jack in, man, Mega Man. Execute. Can't get any more final than that. I almost, I mean, okay. wow. Actually, so, real quick here, uh, I probably have a little message for the rest of you guys here, so just stick around here. We're not quite done yet. I know this video is going on for pretty long, but just, uh, yeah, just stick with me. I got one more thing I got to tell you guys. Hey, thanks for sticking around, guys. I really hope you enjoy the Mega Man Battle Network series. Holy crap, I, wow. This has been one heck of a series, and I mean, I you know, and I finally get to finish it properly this time. Um, so just a little bit of uh, just a little backstory, if you're not <clears throat> aware of what what is going on. Um, so for the, anybody who has recently subscribed, this is not my first channel. Um, my first one is actually uh, titled Zygix Archive. Um, and quite a long time ago, um, I actually did Mega Man Battle Network Six. That was the only one I did because, for whatever reason, I just felt like um, going backwards, um, it would just be really uh, a pain in the ass to play the games. And overall, it just wouldn't be fun. I was kind of right. I mean, the first games were just get a little meh. But by the time I, I got around to do uh, Mega Man uh, Battle Network 4, that's when things started to look up a little bit more. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I started doing this series back on November uh, 15th, 2017, so not quite two years. Um, but man, I mean, yeah, I gotta admit, this, I mean, you know, all jokes aside, um, I mean, this series actually means a lot to me. I mean, it was probably the one game uh, that really had a profound effect on me as a kid, and uh, and the reason being is, and I, I know I've told the story on Reddit, but it was actually... Um, I got Mega Man Battle Network 4 uh, on Christmas so, uh, many years ago when I was a lot younger, while I was still in middle school, and I got it by mistake um, because initially I was actually really into Mega Man Zero, um, which is a much different game. Uh, it's very, you know, it's an action-oriented, it's very fast-paced, and it turns out I actually like Mega Man Battle Network a little bit more, um, and. Kind of sad to see, you know, sad to see, uh, really sad to see that the, the series is finally done. You know, on one hand, I'm really happy too. So before I finish up here, there are a couple of thanks that I actually want to give because, um, again, this is a, a series that has really been weighing on my heart and I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Um, for, I mean, ever since like, you know, you know, how many years ago, you know, on the first, on the first channel. But anyhow, first order of business, first person I would like to thank is Mega Man Enum. Um, I don't know if he's still around anymore. I mean, the guy has been gone for a while, and honestly, I mean, it hits me right, it hits me right in the feels that he's not around anymore. Um, 
Okay, guys, I think now I'm good. Um, anyhow, so like I said, I do want to thank um, another YouTuber by the name of Mega Man Enum. Um, so the thing is, is, the reason why I want to thank him is because uh, he's actually who inspired me to, to do this whole series. Um, he did the series, you know, a very long time ago while I was still in high school. I didn't even know him th until then, and it wasn't until I actually found out... Um, Probably a couple of years after I graduated high school, um, while I was actually still in college, I was just randomly screwing around with uh, my Mega Man uh, Battle Network 4 game on, uh, on my DS. And I wanted to know how to get to Black Earth. I wasn't sure. Um, sure enough, I found Mega Man Enum's chi uh, channel. Um, yeah, Mega Man Enum, or I believe is a... I, I forget his IRL name. Sorry, Evan. Yeah, so yeah, Mega Man, if you're if you're watching this, uh, sorry, I, I I can't remember your name. I'm I'm sorry, bud. Um, you really did have a profound effect on me, and I you know I really appreciated your series. It was um, it's fun to watch. Um, you know, though you're probably wondering, you know, you know, uh, you know, did he die or something? No. Um, he quit he quit YouTube a while back. Um, unfortunately, he hasn't made videos for a very long time. You know. So I really wish him the best, but honestly, I mean, um, he, you know, wow, the storm's still going. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I really looked up to the guy for sure. Um, wasn't, he wasn't, uh, YouTube famous by any means, but, um, he was somebody that, you know, definitely kept me entertained. Next up, the people I want to thank are all of the people who made guides on IGN. Um, probably made my life a lot easier making this series, um. There's some that kind of annoyed me a little bit, um, particularly the ones that, I mean, you know, they make their guides like weeaboos, um, or they refer to characters by their Japanese name, or their, excuse me, their Romanized Japanese names. Um, kind of hard to figure out who people are, but whatever, I, I still managed to get through it. Lastly, I would like to thank Stephen LeMay, sorry if I oh, screwed up your name there, Stephen, but uh, Stephen LeMay of IntraOrdy.com. Uh, that is where I got all of my maps from, which made doing the series a whole lot, e uh, I mean, a lot easier, a whole lot easier. Um, and as a result, I mean, it, you know, made it, it just made it did made made playing the games a little less of a chore trying to figure out where stuff was at. Um, and lastly, I would like to thank you, the viewers. I really appreciate you watching this series again. This series was very, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a passion project. I really wanted to get this done and out the door. Um, I so saw, I really appreciate everyone who watches this and, um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So you might be wondering, well, now that you're done with Mega Man Battle Network, what are you going to do next? I mean, you really, ne I, I know I've really never announced anything, but, um, I think I have a pretty good idea.